Hello everyone, Cal Cooper here, home improvement expert on the Open House Show. Now you may be wondering why I put on one of these sleek designer suits today. And the reason that I put on this wetsuit is because I've come out here to South Padre Island to learn how to kite board. I've always watched them on TV and I've never been able to do it myself. And today is the day Cal gets a little crazy. Joining me now is the owner of Pro Kite Kiteboarding at South Padre Island, Brett Newcomb. Brett, good to see you this fine day. How you doing, Cal? It's good to have you here. Oh, it's a pretty day outside. Lots of sunshine. How about those winds coming in? Well, those winds are about 15 miles an hour today, Cal. It should be a good day for some kite surfing. Uh, 15 miles per hour, is that going to get Cal moving on the water there? Well, it, I think it will, yes. Okay. I would expect so. We're going to find out. All right, so what do we start with? What do we start? Well, we're going to start by setting up a kiteboarding kite, and uh, then we're going to fly it. All right, let's do it. Sounds good. All right. Now, Cal, I appreciate you signing this waiver. Kite surfing is an extreme sport. and. Uh, you look pretty good in that wetsuit. Oh. You lost a few pounds. Hey, you noticed I feel like uh, James Bond in this thing here, ready to take off. Good on you. Are you aware it's on backwards? It's all right. It's going to be fine. Oh, yeah, because I'm not doing that again. That took an hour. Oh, South Potter Island is a fantastic place for kiteboarding. We kite surf almost every day, all year round. Uh, fall, winter, spring, summer are all excellent <laughs> kiteboarding conditions. It's a fantastic island to visit uh, for a kiteboarding trip. It's a fantastic place to live if you enjoy kiteboarding as well. Uh, we have the ocean where we can kiteboard uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, in the surf and the waves, and we have a giant flat water bay as well that we can practice kiteboarding in. Uh, well, South Texas is a windy area in general, and here on South Padre we have Kiteable winds nearly every day, all year round. Uh, our wind conditions range from light winds in the 10 to 15 mile an hour range, all the way up to very heavy winds, 25 to 35 miles an hour plus. So Cal had mentioned that he was concerned that our kiteboarding kites weren't going to be strong enough uh, to pull him around, that maybe he was too heavy. And I can assure you that they can. All right, Cal. Here's a helmet for you. Okay, sure. Yeah, I gotta be I'll delicate with that, that one. Here, yeah, I know. I I work on it for quite a while every day, but I'm sure it shows. Yeah, you're right. you're not a half bad looking guy. I, I know you know Thanks, how, I, Let me get my how I feel. Alright, let's go set up that kiteboarding kite. This is my harness. Coming up. With proper training, anyone can learn to kiteboard fairly quickly. Cal should have no problems then, right? Although there can be many things that a kiteboarder may have, uh, essentially all you need is a kite of the correct size, uh, a harness for which you attach the kite to yourself with, and a board to ride, uh, a life jacket for flotation, a helmet for protection are also important pieces of equipment. All right, Cal, let's go ahead and set up our kiteboarding kite. I have a 12 meter kiteboarding kite here for you and a kite pump. So the first thing we're gonna do we're going to take our kite pump and we're going to set up this kite. Okay. So, this is going to unroll and we are going to be facing this way. This onto. Oh, yeah, you got, your, you got your classic male female coupling here with the twister. There we are, exactly. right there. Okay. All right, Cal, so now we have our back to the wind so the kite doesn't blow away. Our kite pump has a rope. Attached to oh, it. very that clever. We can, we can hook up to the kite here. Sure, once you fill that thing up, it wants to go. How's it going? What, what percent are we here? You're doing pretty good there, Cal. So a kiteboarding kite's going to be inflated to about 8 psi. Oh. 8 psi, which means it's going to be very rigid. You're almost there. You're okay. About two. Yeah, I'm about, yeah, Brett. Did you say I needed a medium sized kite? We're going to start with a medium sized kite. <laughs> you know I've been losing weight. Sure. Alrighty. We can go ahead and put that all the way down. Okay. Everybody can kiteboard. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's something that anybody can do, whether you have experience with kite flying or riding or not. Okay. So to get the lines organized, we're going to stand with our legs separating the two outside steering lines coming off the control bar, and we're going to walk to the kite to pull the lines free here. Do you want to try that out there? I'm going to let you go ahead and do that one, uh, Brent, just out of everybody's safety. Okay, cool. Okay, Cal, so you're going to attach yourself to the kiteboarding control bar. This is the harness loop. 
gonna take this pin and feed it through from underneath. And in this way, you've attached yourself to the kiteboarding control bar at the harness hook. And now you hold on with your hands. Also, you will be controlling the, bar, the kite by sliding the bar further away from yourself out to here. You have to really reach there. There you go, buddy. And then pulling in. Pulling in like this is going to catch more wind in the sail. You'll have more power. Reaching out is going to let wind out of the sail so it's not pulling on you so hard. Coming up, Cal is ready for the adrenaline rush of a lifetime. Stay tuned. So, ready to go. All right there. Um, I'm just gonna fly this kite. We're gonna go over there, right? So Cal, let's go over there and we'll do some kite flying. Well, sure, it looks nice over there. Sounds good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Watch out for that. It's a dangerous sport. It is with certain people that are uncoordinated and don't pay attention. <laughs> Through good training, people do know what to look out for in kite surfing and how to handle powerful kites responsibly so that they don't hurt themselves or other people. One of the biggest mistakes uh, in kite surfing for experienced kiteboarders is uh, simply becoming complacent uh, and not paying attention to their surroundings. Uh, kiteboarders can maintain complete safety as long as they pay attention to their surroundings, have enough open space, monitor the wind conditions. Well, Stokak is very high, that's for sure. Uh, so there's nothing like being connected to uh, a giant powerful kite that's towing you across the water at 30 miles an hour. Uh, and you are in complete control and uh, you, can, you can ride where you want to ride, you can ride with all your friends at the same time. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, so there is nothing that compares to the rush of kiteboarding. Well, it was good for a minute. <laughs> well, Cal, I'm glad you had a great time. Oh, I had a wonderful time here. I never did quite, you know, get up above the water, but yeah, well, Cal, you must have dragged a mile out there. <laughs> it was great. I loved it. Oh, Cal, it's so tough.